Hello everybody and welcome. I am super excited today. We're going to do a beautiful holiday Christmas swag design. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over some of the supplies that we're going to be using. I'm going to be using two swag bases. Now this is completely optional. This is my preference because I'm not going to be using mesh. If you want to use deco mesh, you can get away with one swag base, but I want mine nice and full and I'm not using mesh, so I'm going to go in with two. Okay, so I'm going to use this, um, I think it's a 32, yes, yeah, a 32 inch pine, just an all white pine base. Let me get the sticker off. So we're going to be using that. I'm going to go in with another 32 inch and the green flocked. We're going to lay that one right on top. I brought in some white picks. We've got our artificial pine that's flocked. We're going to be using some of these. And then we're going to pull in some red and gold glitter sprays. The ribbon we're going to be using, I wanted to use this new four inch plaid. So we're going to be using that. We've got our green velvet and our red velvet ferris silk. And we're going to be using our red and green jeweled ornaments. Okay, so those are the supplies that we're going to be using. Let's go ahead and drop you guys down. Also, don't forget, all of these supplies will be listed in the description of this video, so y'all check it out. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we are gonna start with our white base. Just gonna get this fluffed out. And you can see why we would not just want to use this by itself, um, or at least I personally wouldn't. Um, some people, you know, it might be perfectly fine. I just like mine full. And you can really see that there's a lot of area in here that would need to be filled in. So you would want to use mesh or greenery. In today's case, we're going to use another swag base. Um, I like mine nice and full. And because I'm not using mesh and I don't want to use a whole lot of greenery, we're going to go in with a, another swag. Okay, so I am going to go and let's set that one aside. Let's get this one fluffed up. And we're just going to lay them on top and zip tie them together and kind of um, intertwine the, the pine needles. Okay, so I'm just going to lay this right down the center. Just going to twist some of these together and then I'll also zip tie it. Let me just get a couple of these tied. Okay, let me get a zip tie. And you could just tie, if you don't want to use a zip tie, you could just tie a few more of these pine branches together and you'd be fine. By the time we get done adding all of our goodies, it, it's not going to go anywhere. But I'm just going to go ahead and add a zip tie just for good measure. And let's add one more. Just moving these little branches out so I'm getting just solely on the spine there. Okay. We can just kind of intertwine some of these so it doesn't look like the green is just sitting right on the top. That we've got some of the white pine coming through it as well. So just blending and we're going to add more like I said we got greenery and stuff we're going to be adding so there's our base okay now the first thing we're going to do on this design is I'm going to get our big bow added because our jewels are going to go in the center and I want to have our bow 
situated before we put our ornaments in. So I'm just going to pitch. I'm going to make a nice loopy bow. It's probably about a good size. I'm going to twist. So I'm just going to do one loop of this four inch. And then we're going to go in with our one inch ribbon. find a tie up here, twist those together, let me see if I like the placement on that or if I want to come over just a hair, I think that's probably pretty good. find two branches down here and I'm just going to twist those okay, and I'm just going to let this come down I'm gonna try to guide I'm gonna try to keep you guys in view as best as I can but with these large swags they take up the table and sometimes it can be difficult okay I'm gonna cut straight across on this ribbon and then I'm just going to hold the ends up. Over here, I'm just going to fold these ends up. Okay, so we've got our base ribbon. Let's go in and let's add our green. So this is our green and gold. Pop that right off of there. Let me see if I can fix that. There we go. Our green and gold one inch. So I'm going to go one loop of this ribbon. Get my sizing just a hair smaller, I think. Okay, making sure I have the right size and I don't want, I'm not going to roller coaster these I'm just going to let them kind of hang so I'm going to go a little long we can cut them down in with our red. We may add a little bit of tails on the side with the one inch. So I'm going to leave that there for now. And let's get our red and do the same thing. I'm just going to do one, one loop. I mean, you know what I mean, one loop on each side. I'm going to come in a little bit smaller on this loop. And I'm going to open this back up. these ends under. And you guys, this is going to be a expensive design. Most of my um, Christmas holiday designs are on the higher end. Of course, scale up or scale down according to your budget. So we're going to 
leave that there for now. Let's get our jewels added next. So I want them to sit kind of right in the center. And use our red and our green. So let's get our placement before we, so they're gonna kind of, kind of go up underneath here. So our green, and let's get our red. And you guys, if you're interested in getting these ornaments, they sell out very fast every year. I think I've had these for three years now, and every year they sell out super fast. And then I'm getting messages wanting people wanting more. So y'all make sure if you want them, grab them while they're in stock. Because they are good sellers, and they will go fast. Okay. So I think this, that's going to be too thick to go through there. Yeah, that's going to be too thick to go through there. So we'll have to get a wire. But I think I like that placement. Yeah, I think I want the green to go that way. And we'll have the red kind of go like that. Okay, so let's get some wire. You can just glue these in. Um, I've done many designs with just glued it where I just glued them in, but we're gonna just, I'm gonna make this a little bit longer. Just for a little extra security, we're gonna go ahead and run run this wire through there. And then we'll secure it around the back. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the back of this y'all make sure on these there is a nice shiny side and then a dull side. We want to make sure our dull side goes down. I'm going to go ahead and hit this with a good amount of glue. I'm get my glue gun off of its thing. There we go. and tight it. Okay, so I'm just going to tie that right around the back. I'm going to hit that with just a tiny dab of glue just to make sure that's not going to come undone. Okay, now let's get our red one added. Now, I'm trying to decide if I want to go this, I kind of like going the same way with that. I was originally going to do it this way, but I think I want to do it this way. And there's actually a little pine branch. Let's see if this will turn. I think it's going to be too thick. Let's see if I can pull it. Nope, I'm not going to be able to. I tried. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our wire. This one, I'm going to go ahead and get it tied in before I glue it. I'm not having to try to go underneath that. Okay, so we're going to put it right here. I'm just going to gently flip it. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna hit that with just a little bit of glue. Flip it back over. And then now let's go ahead and get that glued in. If you don't want, if you just want to kind of have them dangle, you don't have to glue it, but I'm going to give mine a little bit of glue. And I'm out of glue sticks. Let me grab another one. goodies added yet. I love this ribbon. It's got a nice flowy feel to it, but it's got still got a nice wire, so it's holding its shape really good. Okay, let's start adding in now a little bit more of our greenery, sort of filling it in around the sides. We will do some of this on the table, and then I'm going to put it on the easel, or the not the easel, but the stand. I don't have my easel ready yet, guys, from the move. It's still over there against the wall. I gotta, I'm gonna paint it, so. But I've gotta restand. We'll put it up on the restand and then we'll make sure it looks okay. So I'm gonna cut a couple of these pieces up. So I don't wanna use this whole. So we're gonna get some pieces out of this white one. You guys, I'm just going in there and just clipping the little and getting little pieces. So you can always cut your greenery up. You don't have to use it whole. When I first started designing, I thought you had to use the whole pick. And so then I realized later on after I watched you know, several designers, you can cut this stuff up. Who knew, right? Okay. So I know we're going to need at least two, and then we're going to go in with our other greenery as well. So let me go ahead and just cut up another one. So we're gonna go in a few with a few pieces of this and then we're gonna leave some for the end um, as filler. And we'll go in with some of our other pine as well. But I'm just gonna hit this with some glue. You can add these on picks as well. So if we need to, I definitely will. I'm just gonna start placing these where it looks like we need a little bit of filler. Focusing kind of on the sides. We'll want to build out our sides a little bit. Oh, I just stuck my finger in some glue that I dropped. Okay. So like up underneath. Good spot. I may put this one on a pick.
just kind of filling around the sides. We're going to hit the bottom a little bit up underneath this ornament. Perfect. I'm going to add this on a pick. The pick just helps me get it in there a little bit further. Since I cut these and I want a little bit extra length to get it up in there, that's what the pick is for. You do not have to. You can just put glue on it. I'm going to go right up underneath. This is going to be sort of traditional. I love the, I love to make these traditional with the plaid. And I went crazy with plaid this year for whatever reason. When I was buying stuff for market, <laughs> I must have been feeling the plaid because I've ended up buying several plaid ribbons. They're slightly different, of course, but all plaid and I was like man I must have been loving the plow when I placed this order. Okay so I'm just placing these in there. Do a couple around here at the top and then we're going to go in with our other greenery and we'll save these other little pieces for the end when we get it up on the stand we can see where we need to fill in our bowls. Let's go in with our pine, our flock pine. I forgot to warn you guys that we are going to get messy with this design. Anytime we're working with this flock snowy stuff, it gets everywhere. So if you don't want to use flock, just use your regular pine and that would be beautiful as well. I will probably be doing another arrangement similar to this, but with just a, um, just the natural pine and not the flocked. I think that would be really pretty as well. Not everybody likes the flocked stuff. So I'm just taking the pine cones off. I don't want them for this design. I'm just going to cut these up. I just prefer, especially for winter, I very rarely use mesh. I typically am going to use my pine. Okay, so we're just going to start placing these in there. And I can already tell you just by Looking at the amount I have here, I'm probably going to need some more of these. Okay, I'm going to go up underneath our loops. Oh, and I just pulled that one right out of there. Let's try that again. I'm just going all the way around the sides for right now. Let's actually hit one up underneath. One up underneath our ribbon there. I just tried to pull that one out too, so let me go ahead and hit it with some glue. in there. I'm keeping with my, 
trying to keep with my perimeter here. We'll see more when we hang it up, how we did. So a lot of times when I hang it up, I'll see where I sort of missed. And I'll lift my tail up and go right up underneath there. I've only got two more pieces, so I'm definitely gonna have to go get at least two more of these. Okay, I'm gonna go get some more and we will be back. Okay, so I got two more and got them cut up and let's finish with a few pieces and then we're gonna save those for the rest of them for when we get it up on our wreath stand. Okay, I need to get up the top. So I wanna go right up underneath our bow here, and I think we're gonna do one. We'll wait till this is up on the wreath stand before we, but I think we'll probably put some in towards our, our bow too, but we'll wait on those pieces. I can see we've got a hole right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit that right there. right up underneath there. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, let's go in with some of our sprays and then we're gonna put it up on the stand. We may add a few tails and we've got a few pieces of greenery. So I'm gonna go in with some gold and red. We're just going to kind of add both of these to it. So I'm just going to cut these up. And the reason I went with the gold is we have our ribbon here, our one inch that's lined and trimmed with that gold. So I wanted to bring in some of that to go with our ribbon. And I'm going to go towards the bottom. I'm gonna go right up underneath, right underneath, and that's gonna give us some down, some length down the bottom. And I'm gonna go in with a gold. I'm gonna save that long piece for the top. And if you need some extra stem, just pull these off. You can save these and use these, tuck them in later. But I needed a little bit of a stem to get under there, so that's what you do. So I'm just going all the way around the sides and then we'll fill in some in the center. And I'm trying to decide before we get too crazy if I want to add a tail. Let 
Yeah, let's do that. I like that. Okay, so I'm just going to cut these. Going to fold them over. Well, didn't do a very good job with that one. Once we put all those picks and sprays in there, it's going to be hard to get that ribbon in. Okay. Now, you don't have to do this if you don't want, because obviously the more of this spare silk ribbon we put in here, the more expensive it's going to get. is optional. And this, I think we're going to have to, because it's a thicker piece, I don't know if we're going to get it to twist good enough. Let's see. There we go. I kind of want to split the ornament with that one. There we go. Go on this other side. is gorgeous. Let's add, I'm dropping all kinds of stuff over here. I think I have just a little bit. Look, I have just this tiniest bit of green left. So I think we're going to add Maybe up the top. Let's get a little bit of the red. And I'll hit these with some glue too where we tie those in just to make sure they're not gonna go anywhere. And I don't measure, and I like it when they're just, one's a little bit different uh, size than the other one. That's just me, but you can measure them if you want. There we go. We're going to add some, we'll add a piece of, let's go ahead and do that now. Let's add a piece of greenery right in there to kind of fill in that little section. And then I'll hit it with some glue. Okay, I'm going to hit that one with some glue where we tied that in. Let's go do these other ones. Just gorgeous. 
Okay, back to where we were. We were putting in our glitter sprays. But I wanted to get that done because once you put these in, it's gonna be hard to get that ribbon twist tight in there. So, we needed to stop and do that. If I was gonna do tails, I needed to do it. And I think the tails look nice. Takes it up a notch. Going with a longer piece for the top. I'm gonna go right kind of underneath there. take some of these little pieces and we can kind of place them in there in the cinders of the bow. We start going towards right here in the side we're going to go more straight out so these kind of go up these will go down these kind of go slightly out so just a little bit of a bend down okay i got one more piece and then we will hang it up finish it off on the stand. Okay, we have it up on our stand and we're gonna go ahead and start filling in and um, finishing up with our little pieces that we have. So I can see that I want some more coming right in here. So we're just gonna start going around and filling in our holes. I'm gonna do the best I can to stay out of y'all's way here, but not used to working at this angle. Huh. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some of my little pine pieces. We're gonna start with those first. I'm just gonna fill in my sides a little bit. I got a hole right here. Let's go in with one of our white pieces, maybe. Yeah. Need more glue. I'm going right up underneath that ribbon. Make sure I get that pushed in there really good. We'll probably put another little spray right there, a little glitter. Okay, let me step back so I can see it. It's hard to tell from the side. I need the piece right in here. these in. Either up or underneath. We'll go underneath.
Beautiful. I want another piece up there. Okay, I got a couple, just a couple of these little pieces left. So let me step back. I think I want a piece of this right in here. with our glitter sprays. So I think I want one right in there. start working on filling in towards the inside a little bit now. So right up there. So we did red there, so let's do find a smaller piece, maybe a gold. A gold up underneath that ornament. do something with that hole. I'm just not sure what yet. I don't necessarily like the way the and that piece just came out. I'm going to have to put it on a pick. sprays up in here. It's just the way it's tied in doesn't leave us much room to work with. Let me step back before I glue that in. Okay, yeah, I like that. take some of our little pieces and tuck those up in there. I'm struggling with that hole. It needs something, but I don't know that the glitter spray is what it needs. Okay, I'm going to put a couple of these up here. Okay, let's focus on that side. I've done a lot on this side. I don't want to get lined it to where I not focused on that other side over there. A smaller piece. Okay, I'm going to come over on 
햇살 We need a little piece of pine right here. I may have to go get a little scrap somewhere. See if I want red or gold there. And you guys may not can see, but right in here, I need a piece of pine. Let me see if I have a scrap piece somewhere. Okay, I have a branch that I've cut a couple pieces off already. So I'll just grab a piece and I'm going to put it on a pick. be able to get up in there where I want it. Yes. Definitely need it there. side that I just did over there. elegant swag design. I think it turned out beautifully. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, we would love to have you. Um, hit that little subscribe and then the little notification bell and you'll be notified every time we have a new tutorial. So until next time, bye y'all.